Over 5,000 years ago, our ancestors' ingenuity led to the production of the first packaging prototypes made of clay, which we know is sustainable. Now fast forward to the industrial revolution, and the first non-biodegradable packaging was made. As packaging continues to evolve, allow me to show you a glimpse of what the future of packaging could look like, perhaps by 2030. Imagine packaging that is sustainable, biodegradable, but also is intelligent enough to begin to release an antimicrobial, or in simple words, a compound that kills bacteria and fungi growing on food. Cutting edge, right? Well, in my PhD research, I am developing a prototype for antimicrobial packaging. So, how do we develop antimicrobial packaging? Well, first ingredient, the antimicrobial. In my study, I am using native Australian essential oils, Tasmanian pepper berry and lemon miru for sustainability reasons, but also due to the growing demand for natural products. From the findings of my first study, we now know these essential oils are potent antimicrobial agents against food spoilage and pathogenic microorganisms. In fact, their activity is greater than tea tree oil, which we know historically has been extensively used as an antimicrobial. We also stumbled upon the fact that not only are these oils antimicrobial in their liquid form, but the vapors and gases they release are equally as antimicrobial. So, when our first study confirmed the antimicrobial activity of the oils, we then went on to address their limitation of physical and chemical instability using a technique called encapsulation. Encapsulation is essentially entrapping the oil in some sort of raw material. Think of a chocolate truffle with a gooey center, but just in nanometer size. We have successfully encapsulated the oils giving them stability and controlled release. In addition, we discovered that encapsulation actually enhances the antimicrobial activity of the oils. So now, using my previous experience in packaging development, we are integrating the encapsulated essential oils into biodegradable plastic formulations to produce packaging that will release the essential oils, killing bacteria and fungi on food and extending product shelf life. As packaging continues to evolve, hopefully in the future, it's not just for containment, but a tool against microorganisms, which are responsible for over 1.3 billion tons in food waste and 600 million cases of foodborne illnesses annually. Thank you.